everyone, Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Some reason my camera's light didn't come on, so we're gonna be a little bit dark today. It's because of the light in the back. I only got 20 minutes of cardio today. I'm 11 minutes into it, so I might go over if I talk too much. Anyway, today, still shredded, doing my thing. The Tuesday of peak week. Posted my chest video yesterday, my shredded chest. Shredded. And I gotta admit, man, my body's feeling a bit run down, a bit tired. I've been training hard, training my ass off in prep, even though I did increase calories coming in for 36 weeks now. It's well over half a year, three quarters of a year, whatever it is, of prep, of watching my macros, of dieting. And I gotta admit, mentally and physically, I'm ready to uh, somewhat normalize, do my thing, get it done. Anywho, so, you know, we're um, doing some real good things at TigerFitness.com, doing some real good things with, um, you know, business and our customer service and all that, and I'm really having fun with life. But, let's get into some things. One is, I'm going to address overtraining, C.T. Fletcher did a video on it, I'm getting a lot of emails about my opinion on overtraining. Now, um, here's the deal. Getting a lot of comments on, you look tired, you look this, you look sick, you look that. Of course I fucking do. I'm at 3 to 4% body fat. I'm like near death. This is not healthy in any way. And it will go away soon, as soon as I'm done with this show. You know, I'm going to get back to normal body fat levels. I'm going to get back to somewhat normalcy. And I'm going to be uh, a little fatter because it's healthier. This is not a healthy body fat level. Now, one thing you gotta realize is I'm bringing a level of conditioning I've never seen before and it was my intention on doing that. I feel great yesterday. Went to the bounce house with my kids, was doing backflips, was kicking their ass, was throwing balls at them. I mean, I was having a good time. Um, another thing, you know, I, I know I'm accused of addressing the trolls too much, but you know what, I just don't understand where your value in life is if you just go in and waste your time, which could be spent making money or perhaps having sex with your mother, um, going in and, and, and saying negative comments about someone you don't like. You know, my favorite is the comments where someone just posts roids. It's like, you fucking loser, dude. Dude, seriously, you trolls. You know, I, I'm okay with it. I'm not blocking, I'm not deleting. Um, I'm not blocking anyone, I haven't banned anyone yet. But guys, think about it. Look yourself good and hard in the mirror and think if there's anything better you could do with your time. Instead of making fun of me for being successful in life, realize I'm utilizing my time to help people and to grow businesses and to better myself. You're using your time to troll YouTube and try to make people who are more successful than you look better than you, have better bodies than you, have done more than you, and uh, masturbate a lot less than you because we actually get pussy. Um, you're, you're just spending your time trolling on us. I don't understand that. That's number two. Um, I don't even think I have anything more. Nope, I'm good. Yeah, so of course I look like shit. My face looks all fucked up, but I'm shredded. And uh, trolls are stupid. Overtraining. Um, it exists. Branch chains and Debo. It exists, but it's not what you think it is. If you overtrain for a week, if you train really hard, go ball to the wall, your body will be tired, you'll have some fatigue. But central nervous system is the issue with overtraining. Overtraining is chronic, chronic, chronic overuse. It's a nervous system condition. Look at Olympic athletes. Look how many hours a day they train. Look at MMA fighters. I mean, look at all these guys who train much harder than you, much longer than you, and you think just because you do an extra set of chest press that you're gonna friggin', you know, overtrain. While overtraining is not a myth, while overtraining does exist, I doubt any of you train hard enough to get there. I'm gonna err and, uh, and agree with C.T. Fletcher on this one. 
In that, overtraining is generally a word used by people who um, want a way to excuse themselves for training like pussies. Overtraining, now I, I am fucked up, I told you at the beginning. My body's tired, it needs a rest. That's more of a joint issue. Um, I'm not overtrained, I'm overreaching. I'm overexerting. I'm training hard, I need time off. That's why I recommend deloads or a week off every 12 weeks or so to give your body that chance to recover. Now, to say that overtraining doesn't exist would be wrong, but to say that it's easy to get to is as false as saying that it doesn't exist. Overtraining is a condition I'm sure 99.9% .9 of you will never even come close to getting to. Look at manual laborers. Look at construction workers. Look at the village people. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. Okay. They're busting their ass with manual labor every day. They show no symptoms of overtraining. The body adapts. I remember years ago in Vegas, Lane Norton told me you could train every day if you wanted to. Um, you know, but you come into those issues with joints. You come into those issues with fatigue. You come into those issues with time management. You come into those issues of points of diminishing return. So, overtraining, I would not use that as the term. I'd say point of diminishing returns is what we're looking at avoiding. We want to stimulate our muscles enough to the point where they grow and they overload and they progress, but not to the point where you're fucking up your joints and you're making it so you cannot recover between workouts and you feel run down and tired because of the amount of fatigue you're doing. But again, overtraining is a long-term central nervous system issue, which I don't feel is of any concern to anybody watching this video who trains under six hours a day. I really don't. C.T. Fletcher, I agree with you on this. And they're all a bunch of little snap city pussies. So, today, yesterday I spent a lot of time with my kids. I cut out of work at 5 p.m., which I never do. Um, I took my kids to the bounce house. And uh, don't tell John I did extra cardio. But I bounced around with the kids. It was fucking blast. Hit my macros yesterday, which was 440 protein, 440 carbs, 410 grams of protein, 80 grams of fat. Let's see if John got me my macros today. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, he'll have them soon. Generally speaking, I'm in the 400, 400 range for carbs and protein, 70 to 80 gram range for fat. I'm filling into the show. I'm not doing that much cardio except when I go to the bounce house because being a father is more important than any pro card. And you know what? Back to the troll things, I do read comments to reply to ones that actually need replied to. And uh, the low carb Corey, fake low carb Corey, saying that I beat my kids, beat my wife. Dude, guys, I have a little bit of respect intact. I mean, that's just something that, I I'm not gonna delete it and block it because you got slammed down by others. But I mean, guys, that's just the lowest of low. I would never hit a woman. My mother's a woman. My wife's a woman. I have a daughter. I talk to my kids bad, really. I joke with my kids. I have the best relationship with my kids ever. We're a very loving family. If you join my Instagram, at Mark Lobliner, M-A-R-C-L-O-B-L-I-N-E-R, most of my pictures are me feeding Preston, hugging Thomas, having picnics. I don't have, I was, I was sent an email by a customer the other day, yesterday. And it was like, outside of bodybuilding, what are your hobbies? I actually thought long and hard. Thought for at least two minutes. <laughs> and uh, honestly, I have one. It's being a father. Everything that goes along with being a father. And this weekend, I mean, Thomas and I took him to t-ball practice. Had a picnic together afterwards. It was awesome. I brought a, um, I brought a sludge, MTS Nutrition sludge. Made him a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Then we uh, drove down to Costco, which was fun. We ran around. I had him on the cart. We were running around being assholes. Uh, it was a great time. And then, um, and then we spent the rest of the day together playing. And um, I just love those damn kids. We cuddled on the couch all morning. 
you know, just spending quality time because I'm going to be gone this weekend again and the weekend after again. Today I'm taking the kids to the dentist. Um, uh oh, Sunday we had another great day. Took Thomas to Yo Zone, got him some frozen yogurt. I mean, took him to a birthday party, played with them all day. My kids are my life. So if there's one thing that I please ask that you stay away from, it's my family. Don't even joke about it. Eh. I don't want to delete or block anything, but that's, that's the one area I wish you wouldn't encroach on, guys. That's the one area. Talk about my arms, talk about my traps, talk about my calves. Please leave my family out of it. Please. All right. That's that. Got a long day ahead of me. I've gone over 20 minutes because I'm busy talking to the camera. Uh, it's peak week, man. I got to train some uh, delts and arms today. Probably not going to film it because I just want to roll through training. It's going to be high reps, high sets. It's going to be boring. No heavy weights thrown around. But Sunday we have the big event with Big J, Chris Jones, Van Bra, all in Mason, Ohio, in Middletown, Power Station Gym. You guys are all invited if you can make it. It starts Sunday at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Sunday at the Power Station Gym in Middletown, Ohio. And from there, time to be determined based on how long the session takes. We're gonna head on over to our warehouse in Mason, Ohio and have a cookout with chicken. I'm gonna bring some cooked sweet potatoes and we're also gonna have some pizza. For those of you who just don't give a fuck about your macros. All right guys, y'all have a great day. If you need anything, please email me at mark, M-A-R-C, at tigerfitness.com. Um, call me, you know my cell phone number, 818-554-8771. Once again, 818-554-8771. It's Pro Card Week. It's time to make it happen. It's time to peak. It's time to make history. It's time to say it's not a game. Yo, 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 yo. To this North American, you and you did the faulty heritage. I'm not the medicine, better than majority of them. Carcinogenic pen, trapped within the negative zen. Labels a hidden gem. Hidden what? Music is my lifeline. Regimen energetic.